Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a two-tier lamington cake. To create the desiccated coconut colors, I've got a tablespoon and a half of water with a drop of gel food color and mixing in half a cup of desiccated coconut into each one. Once it's all absorbed, chuck it all into one container and mix through to get that rainbow desiccated coconut effect. I popped mine into the oven for um, about 15 minutes on 100 degrees just to dry out a bit more moisture. In the meantime we'll create the filling which is cream, vanilla and sugar. I'll have the recipe for that in the description box below. Attach a cake with some ganache to a cake board and then fill in with the strawberry jam and the cream that we just whipped up. I've used two 7 inch cakes cut in half. Then clear up the outside, pressing it to the cake, and pop it into the freezer for 20 minutes. The top tier is a 5 inch cake attached to a 5 inch cake board, and I'm following the exact same steps. To cover your cake with ganache, make sure your ganache is a very soft um, consistency. Starting at the top and then working on the outside, just creating a thin layer of ganache here. And the reason we want our ganache to be soft is because if it's hard you'll be adding more pressure and because it's such a light delicate cake you'll be making it lopsided and moving it around a lot. So that's why you need your ganache nice and soft. Once it's all nice and neat cover it with the rainbow desiccated coconut. I'm hovering my cake over a large bowl so it catches all the excess. And starting at the bottom of the cake adding a bit of pressure and just kind of gently moving it up towards the very top. cover the top section too and then pop that in the fridge. You can see here just how soft my ganache is. It could even be a little bit softer than that to be honest. Then fill in the sides of the cake and following the exact same steps, smoothing it down and clearing up the top. Make sure to go up and over the edge because the, um, the very top edge of the cake tends to be neglected. Pop that into the freezer for 20 minutes and add the dowels to support the weight of the top tier. I've just used extra thick straws. Release your cake from the bottom cake board after the 20 minutes. It's nice and hard so you can handle it with your hands. Pour some ganache on the top of your cake just to stick the top tier on top and make sure it's secured. After that, decorate with the fresh cream. I'm using a 1E star tip. And for added interest, I've just sprinkled on some extra coconut over the cream. And that's it. You make a lamington cake decorated with coloured desiccated coconut. Um, very very popular lamingtons here in Australia and I'm pretty sure in the UK as well. For those of you who don't know what a lamington is, it's like a little sponge cake, like a miniature little sponge cake uh, decorated with ganache and coconut on the outside and some jam in the inside. It's really nice. Thanks for tuning in this week. I hope this cake has been of use for you. Even if it's just taking away how to colour desiccated coconut, really really good alternative to sprinkles if you want to be a little healthier and if anyone is interested i am running classes and demonstrations at the moment um, i have a little newsletter link that you guys can sign up to if you're interested where i'll be putting out information every week about upcoming classes demonstrations and online sales so if you guys are interested go ahead and click on that link thanks again for watching and i'll catch you on tuesday